M-I-Z Z-A-H is to show up, is a T. It's to show up, is a T. Ooh. Hey there, fools. Mr. T back again. How you fools doing out there? <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on here, but uh, I thought it was time to come back and uh, talk about, you know, games and stuff, because um, Switch is looking really nice. <laughs> yeah, um, basically, uh, I've got a few games, uh, quite a few games over the last couple of weeks or so, and uh, just been playing my games, you know, so that's kind of why I've been away for a while. Just have been enjoying games. That's what you got to do. Uh, you know, you have these YouTube channels, but... You gotta, you know, this is all about video games, and you just want to play your games and enjoy them. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I picked up Xenoblade Chronicles, and uh, obviously Mario Odyssey was kind of the first game that got it going for me there. And uh, I also got uh, Skyrim uh, for the Switch, which is amazing. It looks really nice on the Switch. Uh, the, the handheld especially looks really good. And uh, what else I got? I got Doom, as you fools know. Been playing that a lot. Uh, been playing a lot of Rocket League and uh, really, really fun game there. So, yeah, fools, I've just been in, enjoying the game, so it's been great. And uh, so let's just talk about some things that's been happening in the last week or so uh, with video games, especially uh, on the Switch side of things, of course, because this isn't a Nintendo channel after all. You know, some fools don't seem to understand that. So <laughs> just want to reiterate, this is a Nintendo uh, fan-focused channel here. So anyway... Uh, you know, you got Outlast 1 and 2 announced for the Switch, which is uh, pretty surprising and uh, pretty cool. Uh, you know, I don't really know all that much about the Outlast uh, franchise, uh, if you will. Those indie games, the horror games. But, I've, you know, I've heard really good things that they're really good. Um, I don't play a whole lot of horror games. You know, I, I do enjoy them. Uh, I really enjoy the, the Condemned series on 360. Uh, I like Resident Evil, obviously. Uh you know, I just, you know, I play quite a few uh, horror games uh, on my Wii, actually. I, I've showed those games before, so, um, yeah, I, I like horror games from time to time. Zombie-based shooters, you know, like uh, Zombie U, things like that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to look into picking up uh, these these two games on the Switch when they come out. Uh, you know, I think horror kind of slow-paced games really work well on the Switch. I've said that before, the, the PC type of game, the point-and-click type of adventure games. Uh... Do, uh, seem like a really good fit. Uh, the Siberia series, I'm very excited for for coming to the Switch. Uh, I believe uh, both of them, 1 and 2 are out, and uh, 3 is uh, coming soon, I guess, uh, whenever that comes out. So, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, looking forward to that. We got the 30th anniversary of uh, Capcom and uh, Mega Mans and Street Fighters, and it's just uh, really cool uh, that uh, Capcom is finally starting to come around on the Switch. Um, I would like to see some new stuff, obviously, from them, uh, but I'm sure that's coming down the line at some point. Uh, you know, I've been really hard on Capcom for, and rightfully so. Uh, not, you know, just as a Nintendo fan, but I think Capcom uh, overall on uh, most consoles, pretty much all consoles, hasn't been that great over the last uh, five to ten years. So um, it's good to see them at least uh, doing some fan service stuff. Uh, because we got Mega Man 11 coming, which is pretty damn cool. I'm not overly in love with how Mega Man looks in the game. Um, I would have I would have wished they would have done something a little bit more dramatic with the art style of the game. Uh, but you know, they're still pretty seem to be somewhat early in development. is is at least a year away. So uh, you know, I'll just wait and see. They might make some you know changes to uh, the character of Mega Man himself and uh, some of the backgrounds and stuff like that. So you know, it's. You know, at least it was announced for the Switch, you know. <laughs> and at least, you know, Mega Man was announced at all, not just for the Switch. It's good to see a new Mega Man game coming. Um, as obviously, along with uh, the, uh, the what is it, 13 or I don't know how many Mega Man. More than that, right? Uh, the, the You got the collections coming for the Switch. Uh, so there's going to be, uh, uh, what did I say, 13? It should be like 18 or something like that. 18 or 19 Mega Man games coming in with that collection. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. Um, and also a Street Fighter collection is coming, which is also pretty cool. I pretty much have all uh, the games in the Mega Man collection as well as the Street Fighter collection. Uh, you know, throughout my various consoles. Uh, Sega Saturn and uh, uh, as well as my Dreamcast. So, But it's going to be nice to have all these games in one spot. So uh, that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to picking that up. You know, there's a lot of talk around uh, people, uh, you know, saying of oh, the 
you know that uh, ultra ult, what is it, ultra street fighter 2 uh uh for switch is uh overpriced and it was overpriced you know that's it was definitely overpriced what was it uh 40 dollars i think when it came out um it's probably much cheaper than that right now but you know it's, it doesn't really matter to me because e even these games uh like i said in the collection i have all this stuff so any price is overpriced to me <laughs> at this point but it's just like i said it's convenience of having it on the console your console of choice right now which is my favorite console right now which is a switch and uh i don't mind paying uh for that and uh ultra street fighter actually did add you know a new art style it wasn't just uh, the the base uh street fighter 2 game from uh, super nintendo so that's something i mean obviously it still was an overpriced game but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me. I supported it, and uh, probably because I supported this game, we're getting this collection coming to the Switch. So, you know, you know that's good for everybody. So that's cool. Um, also looking forward to uh, Ukulele coming out. Uh, is it this week? Yeah, I think it's coming out this week here. Uh, like I said, I already paid for my copy because I backed the game, what, two years ago now? So uh, glad to finally be getting it on Switch. I've seen some footage of the switch version and it looks like it's running pretty good it looks like a, a really good version of the game um uh, visually it looks good and uh frame rate and all that stuff looks pretty good so i'm excited for the game uh, i'm a huge fan of rare and banjo kazooie and uh, this is a spiritual successor game obviously so i uh, can't wait to get my copy of that which is awesome so uh you know it's just really good to see uh the switch getting the support it's getting like i said uh, the title it's winning uh, it's nice to see No More Heroes, a, a series that I never thought I'd see again come back and, and come out in glorious HD for the Switch. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, obviously, we got the announcement at the Game Awards with Bayonetta 1 through 3. Uh, we're getting you know, a collection of Bayonetta 1 and 2. And then later on down the line, we're getting Bayonetta 3 exclusively for, exclusively for the Switch. And that's uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, you know, some people said it's not a surprise, but... You know, uh, when it comes to Nintendo, <laughs> things like this will always be a surprise. It's always it was good to say that you uh, predicted this. I, you know, I predicted that Doom would come, um, and when it came, I was still surprised. You know, and, um, so it's pretty cool to see things like this come to fruition. Um, you know, I'm I'm just happy that Bayonetta is a franchise that's going to continue to go on. There's a lot of crying around the fact that it's exclusive to Nintendo. Well, you fools, uh, you know, don't be mad at Nintendo that it's exclusive to Nintendo. If you want to be mad at somebody, be mad at uh, Microsoft or uh, uh, Sega or Sega. <laughs> don't be mad at Sega. Uh, Sega's just trying to make some money off of their IP uh, that didn't do that well on, um, uh, you know, the uh, PS3 and the 360 when it had its chance, you know. Those install bases were, what, over 100 million at that time, it combined, and the game barely sold, what, 2 million copies? That's pretty pathetic, especially for all the crying that I've been seeing. Like, uh, you know, Microsoft and Sony had their chance to uh, fund the game and make it exclusive to their platforms, and they didn't do so, you know, so they didn't care enough. So if you're going to be mad at somebody, be mad at your, uh, you know, platform of choice. If you're a Sony fan, uh, be mad at Sony for not taking the game and uh, funding it themselves and making it exclusive to their pla platform. If you're a Microsoft Xbox fan, then be mad at Microsoft for not uh, taking the game and funding it. Uh, you know, make, taking this franchise and funding it and making it exclusive to their platform because they could have easily done so. And so, you know, there would be no Bayonetta 2 and certainly no Bayonetta 3 if Nintendo didn't say, hey, well, we'll, we'll take this game, you know. Uh, we like the, the franchise and we want to continue it on and that's what they're doing and you know this should be you know they should be praised for that that we still have Bayonetta in some capacity if you're a fan of Bayonetta you should be happy that somebody decided to uh, make you know fund the game and continue it on otherwise it would be a dead franchise so I just don't understand the crying at this point I never understood the crying to begin with because you know if you're gonna cry like I said cry about the fact that none of these other companies, these big companies, decided to uh, fund the game. Uh, and uh, Nintendo did. They should be praised for that. I, I don't know. It's, I guess that's more of that Nintendo separatism. <laughs> Those Nintendo separatists are at it again, I guess. 
But, uh, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And speaking of the Game Awards, um, I guess there's another surprise is that the Game Awards didn't suck. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and say it was a great show, it was a good show, but it, I, it was an okay show. Um, it was uh, very uh, much less cringeworthy than it's been in the past. And uh, t I guess that is a victory, <laughs> you know. Uh, some will say, oh, because, you know, Nintendo did well, you know, as a Nintendo fan, I'm just happy that Nintendo will. I'm not even talking about the awards being handed out because I still had my issues with how they were doled out. But I'm talking about the fact that there was just much less cringy segments uh, as there used to be in the past. Uh, it was very much more streamlined this time. Uh, it was very much more focused. And that's a good thing, you know. And uh, you didn't have like the Shik Hydra bot running around. That was just, man, that was some, oh, that was some cringeworthy stuff. And you didn't have that. And it looks like Jeff Keighley is taking some, you know, feedback and listening to what fans are saying. And he's uh, implementing some changes. So that's a good thing. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not going to say it was a great show or anything, but it was a much better show uh, this year than it's been since its inception. So. Kudos to them for that, and it was, you know, it was obviously really cool to see uh, Zelda win Game of the Year, and uh, it won a couple of other awards. I think it was uh, Direct uh, Direction or something like that. I don't think it was Art Direction. It was uh, uh, you? I'll put the graphic up. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it won two other awards along with Game of the Year, and I think Mario Odyssey won Best Family Game. That's just. Nonsense. I don't well, what why is that a category? That's just the stupidest thing of all time. Uh but <laughs> but you know, the fact that PUBG was in the running for game of the year just didn't make any sense to me. I'm not a hater of the game or anything, it just we I mean, we all know that the game <laughs> shouldn't have been there. It was only there for popularity's sake, because it is a very popular game. Um so I, I understand it for that. And uh, those are some of the criticism that continue on with the the Game of the Year Wars is that, you know, it has to cater to this populism in gaming, the gaming industry, uh, to, you know, just to be uh, rel more relevant in some of its, uh, you know, segments. But, you know, that's just uh, a matter of the beast. That, that's, you got to pay the bills, <laughs> you know, especially with a, uh, a award show the way it is. It's online only. And, uh, you know, they have to, you know, do things. They have the commercials and stuff. I didn't mind the commercials. A lot of people would complain about that. You have to pay the damn bills, people. You have to uh, have sponsors to make this show happen. So I, I didn't have a problem with any of that. I actually thought, you know, the commercials weren't, again, they weren't cringeworthy. They were, uh, uh, they, they were just the right amount. It, w it wasn't overly crazy with the commercials, uh, commercialism with the eBay and, uh, you know, uh, Rocket League uh, commercials and uh, Nintendo Switch commercials. I thought it was okay. And, uh, you know, it's just, that's just the nature of the beast. Like I said, uh, a lot of fans don't like commercials, but that's how these shows are funded. So that's just how it works. But, uh, you know, I didn't have a big problem with that. So overall, you know, it's, like I said, I've been gaming pretty well. It's, you know, there's some pretty cool stuff that happened uh, the past week with the gaming industry with the awards show and, uh, you know, announcements for the Switch especially, so just been enjoying that. And I uh, also want to say there are some pretty big changes coming to the channel. Um, this is going to be a push to um, to make the channel bigger. Um, I'll be talking about that in, at the end, the tail end of my upcoming uh, 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 Versus video that's been in the works forever. And, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be a narrative I'm going to talk about in that video basically talking about what I wanted for this channel from the beginning and I kind of got veered off into other things and I just haven't been able to do the things I wanted to do with this channel because of the nature of how I make videos and the type of videos I want to make so make sure you watch that episode and stick around to the end of that episode because I'm going to be talking about some serious things fools uh, so yeah make sure you look out for my Banjo-Kazooie versus Super Mario 64 versus video uh, it will finally be out. It's supposed to be out before Odyssey drop, but like I said in the video, I'll explain uh, the nature of you know my channel and what I want to do, and you know it'll it'll be pretty poignant, I think. So make sure you check that out, and I'll have another video basically detailing more stuff after that. But um, like I said, I want to push this channel to be a bigger thing. Um, I got the skills to really do some cool things here on YouTube, and uh, that was my dream from the beginning. So. 
I'm gonna try to make that thing happen. So, anyway, fools, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's good to touch base with you fools again. I'm gonna get back into some of my gaming. <laughs> but there's gonna be more videos dropping pretty soon here. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned, fools. I uh, appreciate you, fools. I'm over 5,000 subscribers now, which is pretty cool. I'm very happy about that. And, uh, YouTube's going crazy, doing some crazy things. I don't think, uh, you guys are catching my videos in the feed. I've noticed a drop off, uh, even though I'm getting more subscribers. My video, uh, my, you know, my uh, video views have dropped off, so, uh, you know, significantly, nothing too crazy, but enough. But uh, so uh, I'm going to try to, you know, figure out some things there. But uh, yeah, thank you guys, like I said, for sticking around and being with me. Continue to roll with me. Some really cool things are coming to the channel. And uh, thank you fools for watching and listening. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.